so we found her. 42 is up over there in the in a, in a gorge. We think they have a kill. So she should be with a group of five. So there are six sub-adults between the ages of two and a half to three and a half, three males, three females. We found them in October in another river system further east from here. And now we've managed to locate them. The past few days they've been in this area. <clears throat> we found tracks at the waterhole two days ago. And so now we're actually going to try and drive in as close as possible and then climb onto the hills behind us and see if we can get a sighting um, for the Northwest Lion operation. Just to say, we are exhausted, uh, walking for I don't know how many hours, but we have found fresh species, a lie, a lie up spot close to a spring, and tracks of them, absolute evidence of them here. Telemetry shows they're here, but now amongst these hills, <clears throat> it's very difficult to actually zone in and hone in on a specific spot. So we are going to head upstream a little bit further in the hope that we might spot them. Gosh, we've been walking since probably about 8 o'clock and sadly we haven't found those lines. The telemetry is strong, but because of the mountains, it's back and forth. But we are now walking back home, but on the Lion Highway. But anyway, we tried. We are left with four cubs that are going to die. So we only collar when the cubs are over a year. <laughs> At a water point, um, lifeblood once again of um, this Clip River. So we're in search of a male. He's about seven years of age uh, that we collared in uh, October. Um, so we've been tracking him now for the past three, four days. Um, now the search begins. How do we actually find them without putting ourselves in danger, number one, and number two, without chasing them off? Actually, it's desperation. Uh, well, we've been here all morning, so it just goes to show they far outwit us. Uh, yeah, so what we're doing now is we're setting up trail cameras in the hope of getting evidence because uh, I don't think we're going to see them. They are just so wily, they are just so wary, in fact, 
of people, of vehicles, just because this is an exclusive wildlife zone and very few vehicles and people pass by here. So it's a good thing that they're wild, but for us to try and see them and count them, not at all.